everybody, my name is Eric and welcome to Skyrim Battles. And today, we're going to be either fighting the Dragon Priest, uh, whatever his name is, or um, even doing the um, uh, ma Mind of Madness uh, with the um, Shigarath and the uh, Wabajack. So, we'll just figure out when we get to the game. Or we're going to do the one with the doll. There we go. I just love that song. It's so epic. It's like, Oh, it up, double key, double go, 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 Oh, and by the way, guys, I don't know if you realized or not, but when you go on a mission, take a companion, take some magic. But let me just tell you guys, when you fight Alduin, he's gonna be super hard. My dad played, and basically, he freaking, it, he, 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 was, he was hard. Just take as much stuff as you can, and you're still gonna cling on to life. You're gonna get, ah, everybody, meh. All right, let's do this thing. Um, probably go change my stuff now. That guy's definitely drinking. He has a drinking problem. Ow! Hey, did ya? Get up. In a different episode where I didn't record, I was fighting the freaking blood dragon that came out of nowhere and he freaking hit my butt. He literally killed me the first time. So, yeah. Put all that stuff away. Huh. Guys, there's gonna be some serious butt kicking in this episode. So, well, yeah, we brought Long probably life to you, Faye. I am your sword and your. Sh Lead the way. Yeah. Come on, Lydia. Lydia's gonna be my little helper today in this video. So, she's probably gonna need some stuff. She's definitely going to need to wear. Um. Some better stuff because this. Is not very good. Wait, hold up. Where's the, where's the other one? Hold up, where's the other one? Where is it? There it is. They fly as well. I should probably put that one weapon back because if my freaking Lydia freaking shoots it at him, I'm going to be screwed. Oh, it looks like we're all ready to go. Lydia. I've got your back. I am sworn to carry your burdens. Why do I feel like she's giving me an attitude? Okay. Let's, let's change your wardrobe up again. That to her when I say when I give that stuff to you, Lydia, you wear it. Okay, wear the stuff I give you. 
I am sworn to carry your burdens. She's gonna kind of start ticking me off right now. She's seriously about to start ticking me off. How am I gonna give that to her? Let's get going then. Yeah, we should probably start getting going. Because I'm not drawing today. Let us go! Oh, and by the way, I just want to say that video. You look really nice in that suit. Let's go! Ouch. So, guys, um, for my next episode, I want you guys to tell me what to do. Because seriously, like, there's so much cool stuff to do in Skyrim, I can't really choose. So, yeah. Like, yeah. Alright, let's go. Wait a minute, can I look up? Nope. Okay, where's that one guy? He's over here somewhere. He's by Rifton, isn't he? Yep, yep he is. Here. Do that to the other. I'm gonna do the other. This may take a while. Yep. Yeah. Alright. Interesting. I wonder what kind of skull that's from. I don't even know what that is. Is that like half goat, half like troll or something? I don't know. Whatever it is, it looks kind of weird. It looks almost like a daedra. Just let me do it. Okay. Oh, look! There's the person we need to talk to. Got lots of things to take care not in your life. It's dangerous in there. And Falk doesn't even like me and Erdy going in every year to clean out the spiders. Spider? If you really want to, just be careful of the ghost. He snuck up on me once and scared me sick. It took a week for me to feel better. You can catch me at the Blue Palace later, if you want to talk again. Okay. Um, first of all, I got a good suggestion. If you got scared from a ghost, just drink a lot of mead and hope, just forget about it. In Skyrim, basically, that's the best option. You forget about everything you know in the last 24 hours. And I know, because it works. Nope, I'm like, oh. Alright, let's do this. Let me just shave it. Because I've heard that this is going to be kind of hard. And I'm not saying kind. I mean, like, ridiculously hard. So... Yeah. You guys have any suggestions? Just tell me. Why would it have like a uh, arrow on it when usually that's for like a person or going somewhere? Usually it would have like an opening door sign like uh, it has the black box and the arrow. My Lydia. Where do we go? Okay, that's kind of weird. Oh well, let's go this way. Ugh. What was that? That was probably the Wabbajack. Now, what you ma are about to see may cause. Whoa! Oh. Party, Patty, my dear. Oh, I couldn't. It goes right through me. Besides, I have so many things to do. So many other things. How rude! Can't be bothered to host an old friend for a decade or two. Uh, he's crazy. Uh... Pelagius the third. Now. Surely even you know about Pelagius' decree mm. on his deathbed. Oh, and this was inspired. He forbade death! That's right! Death outlawed! It's crazy. Really? Oh, oh, what kind of mess?
message. A song! A summons! Wait, uh, I know! A death threat written on the back of an Argonian concubine! Ah! Those are my favorites. Well, spit it out, mortal! I haven't got an eternity. Mm, pretty Actually, pretty. I do. That's what I just said. Little joke. But seriously, what's the message? Um, it's a... Were you now? By whom? Wait! Don't tell me. I want to guess. Was it Molag? No, no. Little Tim, the toy maker's son, huh? Huh? The ghost of King Lysandus? Ah, oh, what a possible one. Yes, Stanley, the talking grapefruit from Passwall. Ha-ha! <laughs> wrong on all accounts, aren't I? Ha! <laughs> no matter. Honestly, I don't want to know. Why ruin the surprise? He's crazy. But more to the point, do you, tiny, puny, expendable little mortal, what? actually think you <clears throat> can convince me to leave? Because that's crazy! You're crazy. You don't realize who you're dealing with here. I don't know what to say, you're a bad man, that's mean. All I know is that you're a people and you need to return. Ah, <sighs> oh, pardon me. What are you saying, something? I do apologize. It's just that I find myself suddenly and irrevocably bored. Okay. I mean, really. Here you stand, before Shea Gorath himself, Daedric Prince of Madness. Oh. And all you deem fit to do is deliver a message? How sad. Now that's the real question, isn't it? Because honestly, how much time off could a demented Daedra really need? So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave. That's right, I'm done. Holiday! Complete! Time to return to the humdrum day to day. On one condition. Oh. You have to find the way out first. Well, good luck with that. What? Ha! I do love it when the mortals know they're being manipulated. Yeah. It makes things infinitely more interesting. Care to take a look around? This is not, I dare say, the Solitude Botanical Gardens. Idea where you are, mm. where you truly are. Welcome to the deceptively ardent mind of the Emperor Pelagius the Third. That's right. You're in the head of a dead, homicidally insane monarch. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Now I know what you're thinking. Can I still rely on my swords and spells and sneaking and all that nonsense? Sure, sure. Or you could use... The Wub Attack! Huh? Huh? Didn't see that coming, did you? Um, yeah, I did. Ah! Do you mind? I'm busy doing the fish stick. It's a very delicate state of mind. Do you mind? I'm busy doing the fish stick. It's a very delicate state of mind. I don't even know if I want to do this anymore. Hey guys, this guy is pretty intimidating and creepy. So guys, think twice before you do this. I mean, the thing is hard. Like a lot of people have been saying that this thing is hard. So make sure if I do something wrong and I die, don't do what I do. Um, that one. That one looks okay. I'm busy doing the fish stick. It's a very dirty. You have headed down the path of dreams. Unfortunately for you, Pelagius suffered night terrors from a young age. Crap. All you need to do is find something to wake our poor Pelagius up. You'll find his terrors easy to repel, but persistent.
right along. We'll both be home in no time. Okay. That was intimidating. I still wish I could use my weapons. He did say that I could rely on him. And then he said I can't. What's the deal with that? So there you go, guys. When something tries to kill you, just shoot it with the webjack, and then you just keep on shooting this thing. Need something? Yes. Little plague it. Um. I should probably start going now. Okay, yeah, this guy's crazy, and, um, yeah. Make sure you know what you're coming to. Wait a minute. Didn't I have my good armor on? Oh, yeah, that's right. You always get the good crap. I'm busy doing the fish stick. It's a very delicate state of mind. Shut up. Ah! Now this is a sad path. The late is hated and feared many things. Assassins, wild dogs, young dead, pumpernickel. But the deepest, keenest hatred is for himself. For that, the attacks he makes on himself can be seen in their moment. They're always carried out. Here we go! The self loathing enhances Pelagius' anger. With every hit, you must bring the two and the battle Here we go! Super, super sucky. But the real thing that you gotta do is basically just shoot one of the guys. Hopefully. Thank God to YouTube. Whew! This Wabajack thing is freaking me out. Let's go to the final stage. Oh, what the heck? What's with this armor? Oh, yeah, because I'm mad. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was trying to be mad for. All right, yeah. Whew. I'm sweating here, guys. Hopefully, I uh, help you out with the next time you're ever trying to get a crazy man to leave um, this guy's deadhead and get a magic staff thing that makes random effects. Just watch my video. Oh, good choice. Well, good for me. I find everyone being out to get you so terribly entertaining. <laughs> you might find it. Less so. You see, Pelagius' mother was, well, let us say, unique. Although I suppose, in the grand scheme of things, she was fairly average for a septum. That woman wielded fear like a cleaver. Why would she wield a cleaver and make me afraid? Forget that for a Oh, but she taught her 
her son. Pelagius learned from a very early age that danger could come from anywhere, at any time, delivered. But oh, I thought you'd never figure it out. I did it? With the threat gone. That was the first time I've ever done this quickly. Alright, guys. Um, I think I'm going to be closing my video off soon before I leave this dude's head. But, alright. And, um, this is Eric Raff. And Skyrim Battles. Next time. This is under the delusion that he's safe. Which means you've helped him out. Sort of. And we're that <laughs> much closer to home. Guys. I hope I, I hope I see you guys next time. And um smash a like button, leave a comment below, and um bye Oh wait, hold up.